So this is definitely not optimal circumstances. Um, the truss truck, he couldn't reach because of the site conditions. This back where we have everything almost fully sheeted, nice walls in the middle, cross bracing. I was gonna hold the peak up. Um, mostly sheeted down here, right, all the way around. Um, but that's just not the way that life works out sometimes. So what we have is trusses over here where I have barely any shear up, which again is not optimal. So I just slap cross braces everywhere, like corner, corner, cross both ways, two of them here, corner. And then over here, cause we didn't have any walls. So we throw a sticker, sticker, right? I didn't like the span of this beam with all the weight in the middle, so I threw two stickers in there. Nailed our cross racing to it. Put some stickers up here to the trusses out here. Bam, 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 bam. Right, some more cross bracing here. Even threw a kicker down here to our center poke that's holding most of the weight. So, again, these aren't optimal circumstances. We lost over a week on this job for stuff that was not our fault. It was outside of our control. It's just life. Things happen when you're building. Um, and the other thing that sucks is we didn't get the garage up in time. It's really hard to catch up and make up massive time uh, with only two people. And uh, we had a third guy for two days. We made a good push. We got most of the second floor up. Still wasn't enough. So we had to set these on the ground. So that sucks. That being said, it's not the end of the world. They're not huge trusses. They're uh, rooftop floor trusses is what they are. They're not huge. They're close to where they need to be. We can still build our walls, get everything sheared in, and then we can get those up. Set that in on the wall, hook it, walk this end up a ladder, right? It's not optimal, it's doable. And that's what we're gonna do. Here, I would have really liked to have some sheeting up on these corners. Couldn't do that, so we just added a bunch of cross bracing. And uh, these trusses are gonna have to sit for a couple days. Uh, Aaron has to have, go have surgery on his mouth, so um, they're gonna sit for a couple days no matter what, it is what it is. Um, again, when you lose more than a week of labor on a house, you're gonna have to scrap some stuff together and that's where experience can kind of come into play um, to know what you can and can't get away with. Uh, but that's where we're at, that's what it is. Luckily, it's not a huge house. Luckily, it's probably only less than 20 trusses um it probably is 20 trusses up there so luckily it wasn't a huge chopped up and complicated roof and uh luckily it's just a straight shot it's just a gable to gable no big deal anyways uh you guys have a good day we're out of here leaving early